The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has cautioned the Zamfara State Governor, Belu Matawale, against defecting from the party to the All Progressive Congress, APC, saying he risks losing his seat. The spokesperson of the People's Democratic Party, Kola Lobodion, said no law allows the governor to cross to the APC or any other party, as the governorship mandate was statutorily given to the party through the ballot box, as established by the 1999 Constitution and the judgment of the Supreme Court. It also cautioned members of the National Assembly and the Zamfara State House of Assembly not to allow themselves to be pushed into losing their seats as the provisions of the Constitution is very clear in barring lawmakers from cross capiting Well, joining us to discuss this is Diron Odeyemi. He is the Deputy Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be with you this evening. Great. Um, what's the story of governors losing the seats. I mean, this is not the first time we're hearing. I mean, the latest in all of these is the governor of Cross River State, I mean, a state that has always been a People's Democratic Party state, and he moved to the APC. I don't see the PDP sending him threat messages. Why is Governor Matawale different? Um, governor Matawale's case is different because going by the history of how he became the governor, you will know that as a political party, we lost the state at the ballot box. But the court gave the victory to PDP based on the fact that their primary was not properly conducted. And in that judgment, the court, the court was specific that the judgment is for PDP. They didn't mention any name there. And we feel this is the time to test the law. You cannot climb to the, to, to the political position through PDP and decide to destroy the ladder or try to say that the, law, the ladder is no longer good. So we want to test the law. We want to know what the law says about people who hold our mandate or who become whatever in our party and decide to switch over to APC. Mr. Dura, I'm again, I, I'm just curious because I, I'll take you back to the Good Luck Jonathan era. I'm going to quote directly from um, a report that was released. Um, at the time, I think it was in 2013, five governors defected um, to the main opposition. I remember um, they resolved to dump the PDP um, for good. Uh, I remember Wamako announced his position. Um, I remember after a seven-hour meeting between uh, good, good Luck Jonathan and some governors, um, and they moved nicely. In fact, they, we have had these defections over and over and over, and, and, and as you see on the screen, these are people who left as governors to the, from the PDP to other parties. And if the roles were reversed, I'd like to put it to the PDP. If the roles were reversed, would you say you're not going to take these people because you do not want trouble with the APC? Wouldn't you throw a party and welcome them? As a matter of fact, and as a political party, we stand to condemn this cross carpeting. Oh, really? It is not helping our democracy. Yes, it is not helping our democracy in any way. It is happening to PDP now. It may happen to APC. But as a political party who believes in democracy involvement in Nigeria, we believe there should be an end to this melancholy or to this uh, drama of people sleeping as PDP today and waking up as uh, APC tomorrow. That is exactly what we want to correct about our democracy. And we think this is the best time to try it through the law court and see what exactly the law says about cross-carpeting, especially when you become the governor under a political party. I'm trying to understand when the PDP turned a new leaf uh, in terms of defections. Um, is it because you're afraid to lose that state and the votes that might come from that zone uh, come 2013? Because I'm trying to understand what you mean by you are against defections and it's, a, it's not good for our democracy. But every single day, both you and the opposition are brandishing the number of people who cross cap it to your parties back and forth every other day. When did you become a, a born-again party? 
You, you are a Nigerian. Oh, yes, you are I a journalist. Am. What I want you to understand or what I want to put across to you is Nigerians should not jubilate when somebody, especially the caliber of the government, defends to from one party to the other. There must be sanity in our polity. And that is exactly what we want to say. Now, regarding uh, Matawale or others from BBB that has crossed over, we as a political party, we will reduce the situation. We will do, uh, we will strategize in such a way that they are going to other parties will not affect us when it comes to when it comes to election in 2023. And we want to ask if what is the essence of the, what is attractive in APC now that anybody will now say they want to defend to APC in terms of achievement, in terms of what in terms of the sovereignty of, of Nigeria under APC, where is the attraction? So they, Nigeria will benefit from asking them those questions. Why are you crossing over? If not because perhaps the reason has always been the fear of VFCC or they want to advance their ambition through another means, through another political party. All these reasons are not too good for our democracy. And that's exactly what we are saying. But as a political party, yes, if they are going, that does not mean that we will not strategize in such a way that in 2023, we will still win the presidential election. So you just mentioned something about, um, you know, reasons why these people are cross capiting or defecting to uh, the opposition. Um, does this mean that PDP is no longer serving the purposes of most of these governors and that's why they're leaving because there seems to be problems within the party? One of the reasons why the one of the reasons given by the governor of Cross River State, um, Professor Ben Ayade, was because the party structure in the state was not given to him. And as a governor uh, in a state, you're supposed to be the leader of the party, but of course that wasn't the case. And now the APC obviously are promised to give him leadership of his party, which he has now. So I, I'm thinking, why is the PDP frustrating governors on their platform? PDP is not frustrating any governor. Perhaps they will be in the best position to answer this question, what are your reasons for defecting? Well, I just told you the reason to that was given really by the government of But what, what I want to point out is, tell me that political party in Nigeria does, that does not have a stating problem. If you cannot stand in the political party and solve whatever is the internal crisis, how far are we sure that the, where you are going to is crisis-free? And as a result, you are going there peacefully, and the peace you meet them there will remain by joining them. Uh, so what I'm saying in essence is going to another polit political party does not mean that they don't have crisis. APC have not, have not been able to hold their national convention right from the world to the national level. Does that mean that there is not going to be implosion because you know the, the, the formation of APC to be the combination of virtually three or four political parties? Now that Buhari is ending his tenure in the next two years, I wish your APC will remain as a political party. So if you are joining them, you are leaving PDP because of, you know, whatever they call internal crisis, which we don't see. We believe they are going there because of their selfishness, because they don't have integrity, because they don't have principle. Hmm. We, that's the reason we, we see that they are crossing over. Because if you are sure of yourself as a governor, nobody can take the structure of the state away from you. But if you are not good as a, as a governor, if people don't see you as a leader, if you are not acting as a leader, then the party cannot help you because you are a governor and give the structure to you. It doesn't work like that. PDP is not a party where one person dictates. It's a democratic uh, party. It's a party whereby we don't have any, board, any singular person that dictates what operates. And that is the difference. If you now think as a governor, I need to be given that, uh, leadership on the platter of gold, irrespective of my behavior to my followers, then you are getting it wrong. If that is the reason for leaving PDP, we have no regret to lose you. But we are sure that people who have gone out of PDP, they have had reason to come back. Okay. So they are only going there temporarily. I assure you they will still come back to PDP. Because that okay. is the only democratic party so, in Nigeria. So, Mr. Dura, you seem to be speaking from both sides of your mouth because you are saying that your party is against this cross-capiting. But then you're saying again in that same breath, 
that those people will come back. In other words, the door is still open for them to come when, back. When I and I did back, ask that question. If the roles were reversed, so would I you be waxing back, this lyrical if the roles were reversed? I'm asking if the roles were yes. reversed. For example, let's say, yes. and this is not for certain, I'm just using this as an, as an example and I don't want to be quoted. If, for example, a governor, uh, Rotimi Akeridolu, wants to move to the PDP, would you be waxing this lyrical right now? Would you say, well, stay in your party because we're against this cross capiting and we wanna, we're facing this strategy and this is how it's going to be? Would you be saying that? That is hypothesis. That is if. Let it happen, then you hear from us. Interesting. That was a nice way to dodge the question. Um, I see that the party um, um, led by um, former uh, Senate President Bukola Saraki, uh, he's been going around trying to mend fences with, you know, the different parties in the different regions and states. How well has that worked out? Because we still see more people getting ready to leave the PDP. What exactly is the problem that cannot be solved? As far as PDP is concerned, we don't have any issue that we warrant any governor to say they want to do. But they are leaving. I'm just explaining it. Whoever is leaving should be asked that question. Why are you leaving? Is it for the purpose of, you know, uh, is it selfish for selfish ambition or for selfish reasons or because of the masses? If you are acting on the basis that you want to advance your political career and you are foreseen PDP has not given you the ticket, you are dying before death comes in, that is your problem. There's nothing PDP can do about it. If you think you, you as a governor should control the structure of the party and you don't, you are, you are not able to satisfy or to play that leadership role for people to respect you, Leadership is not demanded. It should be commanded. If you don't have that ability, PDP cannot help you. So if because of that you now say you want to leave the party, it's a democratic party. It's full of exit and entry. People okay. will go, people will come. But we want quality people, electorates, Nigerians, that we know that when you are talking of internal democracy, you can only get it in PDP. When you are talking of quality candidates, People will give it to them in 2023. And by the special grace of God, we are going to win the presidency. That is what we, that, that's what we start for. Finally, so, finally, I spoke... I that spoke living, does not mean that we are disturbed. Finally, we I spoke with um, the uh, public relations officer for the... Um, for the PDP in Anambra State yesterday, and he still sounded almost like you, because I asked him. Uh, they had two, they had parallel primaries yesterday uh, the, over the weekend for their uh, governorship, and and they had two people emerge, even though uh, the PDP National recognized just one person. But if, of course, if, if there was no rift in the party, we will not see that parallel primary going on. And I asked him, if the PDP wants to truly win governorship in a number of states, shouldn't they be putting their house in order? I'll tell you what his answer was. Well, every other party in the state is having problems. And I asked, is this the strategy that you want to use in winning? And he said, well, yes. So the PDP in a number of states is hoping that the APCA or the APC in a number of states will fall apart so they can come out as winners. Is that a strategy? Or is that just hoping upon no hope? Politics, 24 hours is a long time in politics, and politics is very dynamic. There is no two plus two in politics that you can get for. Everything works for a purpose. So whatever is going on in Anambra State, just see it as an Akradabra, Nigerians, or the election will come and PDP is going to win. The strategy is not something we can disclose on here. Okay. Well, Dura, thank you very much for being part of the conversation. He is uh, the deputy spokesperson for the People's Democratic Party. We appreciate your thoughts. Thank you very much for the opportunity. All right. I appreciate it. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We'll take a short break, and when we come back, I will give you my take. Here's my take. Free speech is a fundamental human right, but where do we draw the line? 
When does constructive criticism become an attack on the government? How does demanding for dividends of democracy become hate speech? And how do peaceful protests against a rogue police unit become a play to unseat a government? Is it an issue of miscommunication or is it a case of outright deafness to the cries of Nigerian people? Why are we seemingly walking on eggshells around this government, I ask, instead of hitting the nail hard on the head? I mean, if all the promises made to the Nigerian state and the people were partially fulfilled, at least, at least, life made easy, would there be any case of endless criticisms and these protests? Of course, the federal government and Mr. President needs to stop playing hide and seek. It's time to sit down and look up what Nigerians are agitating for. No more bulk passing. We're tired of this excuses. Give us clarity and good leadership. It shouldn't be that hard to achieve, should it? I mean, instead of exerting so much energy and gagging us, give us good governance. I'm Mary Anacone thanking you for watching. Do have a good evening.